Used to the city, now we got our own land Life's getting real busy, busy. none of it was ever planned Plan. Got the crib looking pretty, pretty. with a garden full of plants. plants And we built our own committee, yeah. from the bottom we advanced yeah. Back to our roots, roots. now we get back to our roots yeah. Put on your boots, Put on. it's time to go take off your suit so. Back to our roots, yeah. yeah, now we get back to our roots yeah. Put on your boots it's time to farm with Cheryl Swoops right now, right now, yeah, yeah, right now, right now. All right, guys, it's a hot day here in Houston, Texas. It's a little later in the evening, and we wanted to wait until the sun went down a little bit, but uh, we just bought some wood, and we are going to start on the new uh, chicken coop. This chicken coop will be for our meat chickens, and it will bud right up to our layers. Um, I'm not going to really go with a breed right now. I'm just going to order some chickens and learn how to process them. I think for me, that's going to have to first learn how to do that. And then I'll pick a breed. So I think I'll pick a breed at the beginning of the next year. And, and I think that's down to the Red Rangers or the American Breast. Uh, like my friends over there at uh, okay. Naked Gardeners, they, so, if we go that route, we'll get, um, we'll get uh, chickens from them or eggs from them. But this year, I just want to learn how to process. I want to get the coop up so I'm prepared. So we're going to get out here and get started. Well, we've already got started on it, but we just got the lumber in. So we're going to get at it. It'll probably take us a few days to knock it out. Uh, once we get the run up, um, I have a friend. that's either going to buy me a, or sell me another uh, shed like that, or I have some friends that will come out and build one right to the run. So either way it go, we'll get it knocked out here soon, and we can get some meat chickens on the homestead so we're gonna get out here and get a little work done before it gets too dark and I'll show you how it looks at the end it's 30 guys <laughs> all right guys we're finishing up for the day we got a lot done everything's almost framed in we just have this section and this section and it'll be framed in and then we'll start putting the wire on it so uh two or three days tops it should be done and back here will be where the new shed will go so i have a friend that has some and then i have somebody that wants to come build one here too but either way it go the hardest part to me is the run, and, and once that's up, the shed is easy. You just, you know, attach it to the run. So, all right, guys, we'll see y'all tomorrow. All right, family, we've been off for a couple of days. It's been raining. It's been raining today, too. We got, we actually, the forecast actually says it's going to rain for nine straight days. Unbelievable. But, we got a little break, so guys that live close to me, it was like, let's get something done while we can. So we came out, and today we're putting the wire up around the coop. Already got this whole side done over here. So all we got to do is this side. Of course, this side back here will be where the new shed is. So I'm gonna have to this side. The roof. Uh, and the door so keep at it and uh we'll be back in a second we're out here working on the coop Checking out my MT she on the live. She really thought that you were it don't stop, well baby. Seen. Always supporting. <laughs> Alright guys. It's starting to rain. So we're gonna shut it down for today. Um, as you can see, we got this whole side over here done. It's totally done. All the wire mesh is up on it. Um, we got most of this side. All we have to do now 
is the door, which will go right here, and this little opening, which we'll do next, and then the roof. And once that's done, it's enclosed, and all we need is the new shed. So it's going pretty fast. Hadn't been for the rain, I think we would have been done in about three days, but we're going to go as we can out here. Um, the weather's supposed to be bad for the whole week, so we get a little space. We'll try to record and finish, but everything is coming along good out here, guys. All right. Guys, we out here working on the coop, but... I just gave the chicken some greens and some worms. And y'all know what time it is. It's time to play Count Them Eggs. Today, I got my big brother, What's Mo up? D. What's up, brother? And Cousin Harvey. All right. We in the house. We about to play Count Them Count Eggs. Them old eggs. Count Them Eggs. All right, guys. Now, wait, wait, wait before you start. I'm over it. I, it's been three days because it's been raining. So you got to tell me, yo, it's 18 chickens. Yeah. A chicken usually lay a... If you're really good, all of them will lay one day. That's not normal, but it's 18 eggs, three days. So at the very at the very most, if you got them all, it would probably be 54, right? So three days, what do you think we got? How many? I think about 36. 36? What's your answer? Uh, about 28. 28. 28. All right, lift it up. Let's see what we got now. here. Okay, is any in that one? No. Oh, we got a we got a hen here that's broody. She keeps sitting on the thing. Move. All right, we're gonna keep it right there. Now you gotta count and put them in there too. You know, we usually do two, two by at a time. Two. Yeah. Okay. Two. two. Four. Oh. Six. Eight. Ten. Twelve. Fourteen. 16, 18, 20. Wow. Deuce, deuce. Tw okay. All right, move to the next one. Harvey, you want to do the next one? You do the oh, next yeah, one. You, you do the next one. one. Okay. 22. I don't know. 26. 28. 30. 32. 36. I'm out of there. <laughs> 38. 40. 42. The chicken shit on there. <laughs> 44. 46. 48. 50. 52. 54. 55. Somebody ate one. Wow. 55 eggs. 55 eggs in three days, guys. <laughs> so that's pretty good. That's Everything pretty good. cleaned up. All right, guys. That's <laughs> they, pretty good shape right there. My boys are going to be hanging out with me today, so we're going to be doing a little filming out here. But we just out here. The grass high has been raining, but it, we finally got a day where it ain't raining, so we're going to get out here and get some work done. Get it together. All right, guys. All right, guys. Um, Mo and them ran to the tractor supply to get some stuff for the chickens and my other guys just showed up they're going to start building a shed now they claim they can build this shed in one day I want to see it I thought it would maybe take two days but these guys are really good they've already built two today so we're going to see how it turn out I'll, uh, I'll just give you updates as it goes along but we'll see how it comes along but they said they can do it in a day They've been here about 20 minutes and they already have the floor in. And we're putting the walls together now. So it's going really, really fast. The only thing that might stop them, guys, is the rain. It was not supposed to rain. It was supposed to, the rain was supposed to stop today around 3. But uh, as you can see, these clouds are ominous. But if they don't get finished today, I think that'll be the only thing to stop them. But They've already got the floor in, they've already got the wall through, and they haven't been hit off. So, really 
doing good work. All right, guys, Modem just got back from tractor supply. We got some topsoil. We're gonna dump this in there in uh, one of the uh, big raised uh, beds so we can just start to kind of fill it up slowly. Um, we also got some chicken feed and we got some straw for the chicken. And uh, of course we got some worms. I ordered some, but they'll be here in a couple days. So we're gonna go ahead and, and use them. And as you can see, guys are moving along. They already got the floor in. They are just built the trusses. And you'll see here in a minute, all the walls are already built. Right, guys we're out in Ida's garden and as you can see we have the bedding from the chicken coop we got it all leveled out and so now we're gonna slowly start adding topsoil on this this won't be enough to fill it up I think we got about 10 bags of it but every now and then I'll just go get 10 bags and fill it up and slowly but surely it will be filled by all the way to the top, all the way to the top. cuz like I said we're not gonna plant it here well I don't plan on planting it here until fall but you just never know but it's, it's best to go ahead and get it get it ready and I want this soil to start to break down better and I think it'll break down better underneath this uh, top soil so we're gonna get these bags poured in and we'll show you what it look like when uh when we get these tin in well guys as you can see they have four walls up this is the last wall they about to put up They cut that door right there on site. <laughs> Crazy. <laughs> Skill. But uh, I'll be back when they finish, guys. <laughs> All right, guys. They putting the roof in. Man, y'all guys are. Y'all fast, man. Wow. <laughs> we made it today. Yeah, you said y'all be finished today. And look like you're gonna be, you on point. And the rain's held up, so that's good. But uh, this is first only at the other side of the roof, and then they're gonna um, put in the uh, shingle. And pretty much done. Me and Earl have put in the uh, um, laminate and the um, nesting boxes and the roost inside. That's something me and Earl will do, but uh, that's something that's not really a rush because, like I said, this first uh, this year, we're only um, bringing in chickens that we're going to process, so um, they won't get to a point to where they're laying eggs or anything like that. So we got all the way until next year we're going to do that. But, uh, it's coming along, guys. It's coming along. Y'all see this up? This is a skill that's kind of gotten away from our community. You know, people like Earl, Ray, people like that, man. That skill is unbelievable to have. I'm just learning it. I'm not at this level yet of learning how to build something like that. But it's something that I would, um, I'm going to practice and get better at doing it. Because when you can build your own stuff, it eliminates a lot of drama. And a lot of money that you have to pay. Are you paying for it? Finish what they're doing up there, and I'll be back in a minute. All right, guys. You see over here, we're putting down a little, a little, a little straw out here. It's been so wet, and I don't like the chickens walking on that mud. So I'm gonna put some straw down, and then when they get some more hay, they didn't have uh, much hay at tractor supply. But uh, once we get this down, I'll come back uh, a little later on and put some hay on top of this, and this should hold for a while. But uh, we get the hay down. So, 
Everything's coming along good, guys. All right, guys. As you can see, the girls' little playground is all fixed up, nice and neat. Man, it's amazing. You know, most time I'm out here by myself, and I was just telling my brother that when I get help, man, you know, it, it speeds everything up. So it's a blessing. You know, some people try to be prideful or whatever, but man, when you got a homestead, you take that help because uh, you can get a lot done fast. You look at today, it's, everybody's working on different stuff, you know. And the thing is, at the end of the day, to get the job done, it ain't about. I don't get into who did what and all that. Like I don't have time for that. At the end of the day, we trying to raise meat, raise some um, food. So the faster I can get that done, and people that's really want to come out here and work, I'm gonna take that help every time. And I don't look at that as nothing but a blessing. We got them working over there building um the shed, and we over here working in the garden, and that's what it's all about. So we're gonna get this done, and then we're gonna go out. There's some stuff out there we need to harvest. So we're gonna go out there and uh, get it out. All right, family. Um, we out in the garden. Um, we're gonna do a little harvesting. Cheryl's out of town, and some of this stuff is on here. It's getting too big, and I don't want to leave it on much longer. So, I'm, before we get over there, I'm gonna show y'all we got some black beauties coming in. On the tomatoes, they're coming in nice. But uh, we got some squash over here. Let's get it out. Yep, squash hits. <laughs> yep, a bunch of them. Get this one, yep. Big, nice, and pretty squash. Mm -hmm. That's that patty pan. So, we harvested a bunch of them the other day, but they were all white because I got white patty pan. And um, we started growing them for the yellow ones, but I saw the white ones. But the white ones are they pretty prolific and they, they grow fast. but He's right behind him, so we get to the point now where we we got enough squash for the for the year for us, you know. That's pretty. Yeah, that's nice. So how many we get off of that one? Six. Uh, five. 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 All right, guys, look at this one. Look at that squash. Just straighten it. Go ahead and get it. Nice. One. <laughs> Hold it up. Man, that thing is huge, man. <laughs> like a like what? Uh, Turkey drumstick. Yeah, <laughs> bowling pin. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> now get that other one on the other side. You can leave those other two there for a little while. Some grown. Yeah, that's up. a nice one too. Yeah. Mm-hmm. All right. We ready on that. Yeah. This Bump one right here, it got it got butternut, but it ain't ready. That, that got a turn. Yeah. Everybody Let was telling go. me I never grown them, but they gave me, you know. Let them go. I'm, Let them I'm go. open to advice. Well, he gonna turn see. brown. Don't don't pull him. Or he'll come off he that vine. Yeah. Gotta wait for him to turn brown. So that's what everybody told me. So that's what I'm gonna roll with. Right here? Boy, These yeah. zucchini. Man. They really, huh? <laughs> it's huge. Yeah, cut him. Yeah, normally I, I harvest with Cheryl. So hold it up. Golly. I hold it, I'll do, but I can't wait. She won't be back for a couple days and these things will be, they'll be out of, you know, they'll get to a point to where they get, they're not good to eat. If they're not already that way, but look nice at that color. coloring in there. Yeah. See that coloring? Yeah. Well, that's pretty well, we much it. Here, Everything else is still growing. And I thought these were, I thought this was, uh, I think I thought it was cabbage, but it's it's not. It's, uh, it's a cauliflower. Cauliflower. Yeah, so yeah. that one's coming in, and then now. This one coming in over here. They all starting to come in. There's one in there too. Yep, they starting to come in. And my uh, eggplant, they're doing good. Those aren't the purple eggplant. I'll show a picture in, uh, in the video of uh, what the what that variety is. But uh, let's see what we got there. That's our harvest for the day, guys. Pretty good. All right. All right, guys, I'm standing over here by the, one of the lemon trees, and flowers are coming in. Now, I've heard two points of view as far as this. Some people say cut the flowers off and let the roots uh, get stronger. And some people say just leave it on the tree and just let it do what it does naturally. For you guys that have trees, you know, let me know what you think. Leave it in the comment, you know. Um, 
Um, I'm just learning about trees, so I need all the help I can get. But uh, everything's looking good out here. Um, this one's also full of uh, big flowers on it. All right, guys, getting close to the end of the day. Guys have the roof on. And all they gotta do is put the shingles in and they're putting in a, a ramp to get up into the coop. But uh, they knocked it out, guys. I couldn't believe it. Um, they did this in about two and a half hours. So, if you're in the Houston area and you need something built, give me a call because these guys are really good. All right, guys, we're closing out the day. It's still a little cloudy, but we didn't get any rain. So it gave us a break for a minute, and the guys knocked it out. They finished it. Coop is up. So now the rest is up to me and Earl to get out here and put a nesting box on it, put down a laminate in there on the floor, and put some roost in it, and it's done. But as you can see, it is done. We got a little cleanup to do out here. They left a little mess, but Oh, for how fast they did that and the quality of the work, I'm really happy. Now, right here, we did have a issue because the this one that I picked was eight feet long, and the original BTR um, shed over there is ten feet, so it's two inches. I mean, two feet short, but not a big deal because uh, the chickens don't use half of that room in the other one. So this is fine, and like I say, this will just be. For me birds this year and then next year we'll start our flock but it is done uh the roof is in and everything is done in one day so the only thing left out here to do now um to finish this off is i'm going to put down some um hardware cloth along the bottom so nothing can dig into the coop and i'll show you how we do that um put the door in and put these pieces on right here and the roof and we're gonna do that tomorrow that's one day of work that'll be done and the coop is ready to go so I'm gonna um, order chickens once this coop is done and I need to order my chicken um, plucker and my scalder and once I get all that stuff ordered and I know um, when it's coming I'm gonna go ahead and order our first batch of meat chicken but it is done we got a had a really productive day out here um, my friends came out and helped me, and uh, these guys knocked everything out, so I had a good day. We're going to go up here, watch the first game of the Lakers and the Nuggets, and uh, enjoy the rest of the evening. So, I'll see you guys manana. All right, guys. We're finishing the day. Hanging out Mo D. Appreciate you. Appreciate the help. Uncle Harvey. Appreciate it. Back to our roots, back to our roots, back to our roots.